Really looking forward to this one tonight. The Predators start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. And he slides it quickly to Nightfist. Great reach with the poke check. Intercepted in the offensive end by Forsberg. Made the stop on that play. Denies him again! Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. O'Reilly's won the draw. Now look to set up. A shot! Oh, what a great glove save on the play! Yoshi's greatest asset is his speed. His wheel zone ability means he can really fly when he's got the space to move. Larkin's foot speed can make him dangerous, and that's his wheel zone ability. I'm expecting one of these two players to give their team the edge tonight, guys. Back to you. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to He scores! There's one from Philip Forsberg. It looks like the goaltender's tracking the puck really well. His movement is agile, but he just can't keep up to that quick release shot on the inside of the post. Nashville's got to be pleased with the way they've started tonight. Look at this. Already the first goal of the game and just try to take that crowd out of it. Well, yeah, and that's exactly what they've done. And that would have been the message from the coach earlier today, James, because you want to make sure that you set the tone. You control the pace of play and you find a way to get on the board first. What a steal in his own end. Slides it across to Perron. With the stop. Saros makes the save and hangs on for the whistle. Well, you want to pick your moments, in particular when you haven't been busy, and this is one right now. He has the ability to read the play and just hold on, get the face off. The Predators have dominated in the shot department here early in this first period, and the score is reflective of that. Slick feed. Fabros picking up steam. Puts it on there. The score! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Oh, that's just two goals in under two minutes. Anybody who just got up for a quick snack is probably looking at the scoreboard going, what happened? Well, don't blink. The game can change in an instant. Absolutely. We're still in the early stages of this period. Nashville's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Puck grab by Yossi. Dished on over to Glass. The pass out front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The Red Wings move it ahead. Into the corner of the attacking area. Hammers a shot. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Nashville's regain, trying to gain a step. All alone. Oh, oh, fantastic ball. He's in on a breakaway, and some guys know exactly what they want to do, and some guys take what's given, but what a shot that is. He had no chance. The Predators came hungry to play this one, and they lead as a result here in the first. Glass wins the draw at center. Lozon's got it into offensive territory. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Detroit's going to need a lot more effort if they want to find a way to get back in this one. How about a little energy, a little pushback? Nashville still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. The Predators win the defensive zone faceoff. Nashville's crossed the line and on the attack. Quick stop! Sensational stop by Russo! Makes a save again! He's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in, he's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. 
Some good stick work to burst that turnover. Gains the zone from the right. Into the corner now. Oh, tremendous stuff on the play. And great hustle to come up with the puck. Now a quick pass to Fisher. And he takes a shot. Oh, nice stop with the glove by Seros. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Great reach with the stick by Dabrinkit. The Predators gain possession. Handles the puck. The game is played at such a high rate of speed, James, that you have to make decisions quickly, but there's a lack of coverage and a huge defensive miscue that leads to this goal. The Red Wings are on the board, but there's still a long way to go to get back into this one. Yeah, that's not the way the coach would have drawn up that start. No urgency and just flat, but hey, they get back in it. Only within two now, a lot of game left. We got a stoppage, let's get the call. The Predators will serve two for slashing. Detroit set in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge. Oh, well, that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. Let's see what the officials are calling. Larkin's getting two for tripping. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four four hockey on tap. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Angles it over to Sherratt. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Laying out on the play. Beautiful defensive effort. Tries to the paint. And he opts to wait for more support. The Red Wings scoop it up along the boards. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back at even strength. Feeds it down low. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Well past the midway mark of this period. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Off the draw, they take possession. Loose puck battle along the boards. Larkin's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. And the play's whistled dead. Here's the call. The Predators will serve two minutes in the box. once again send out their power play unit. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Gains the zone on the left wing. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. They clear the zone. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. The Red Wings take it along the wall. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because with the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. 
They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone. And they get it out of harm's way. Looks to make a play over to Perron. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Larkin. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Wicked slap shot. That goes on both posts. And he gets just enough to keep it out. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. And the puck leaves the zone. Sends it quickly to Costa Spare. Gains the zone through the middle. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Dropped him in the open ice. Sends a pass in front, and that's stopped. Here's a shot, and he comes up big again. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. To the low slot. Slides it on over to McCarran. Takes the pass. Poked away by Hall. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. They win the face-off here in their own end and take possession. There's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this. Don't forget to check out tonight's game highlights, post-game analysis, player interviews, and vlogs on our team website. New content is daily. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment? Huso's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. Saros can make some impressive saves when he's able to push off from side to side to shut down those cross-crease attempts, guys. That's what we call his post-to-post -post zone ability. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Saros has been really effective tonight, really doing his part between the crease. Look at his save percentage, it's high, but his team is executing in front of him, so that makes his job that much more fun when he knows that his team's putting it in on the other end. The Red Wings will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Denies that opportunity. Forsberg's gaining momentum. Pass across to Fabro. Look at this down the right wing, they're on the attack. Oh, big hit on the play, and look at this, he's on his own bench. Uh, he's not going to let this one down for a while, James. You know that he's going to get razzed for a bit because he's in the laps of his teammates. And tension's running high, and, and not a shocker at all with the history between these two rivals. Yeah, we don't need to paint the picture of the history between these two teams. They feel it right from puck drop, and you see it there as they go toe-to-toe -to -toe fighting. And that was just another reminder that these two teams just simply hate each other, Cheryl. Yeah, they don't like one another, James. And it's all about finding out who has the upper hand. And that's the reason why they just went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Woo! Fair to say that was a rather spirited affair on the ice. Looks like both teams have pulled their jets. And here's the upcoming face-off. The Predators win the draw. Nashville's looking to break out. Forsberg's not going to be able to get away from the booze and the chance every time he touches the puck, all because of that play earlier where he hurt their player. Turns aside the slap shot. Wow. Takes the feed. Misses a golden opportunity there. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Detroit's got it across the line. Quick pass to Perry. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Husso. 
It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Nashville's got it in the offensive zone. Hammers it on net. Oh, what a stop by Husso. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And the play continues. The Predators have it against the wall. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Fabry. Fires it! The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Detroit's gained possession. Moves the puck. Detroit's got it in their own zone. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Made that stop. Pass to Evangelista. And now he moves it quickly to Lozon. Skates to the crease. Detroit's grabbed a hold of the puck. Receives the pass. Costin's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. The Predators take it along the wall. Nashville's on the attack. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Now he slides it up to Comper. Sends a pass over. Exercise, tracking with your eyes, foot movements, everything that power pushes you across the crease. And unfortunately, this time he's just too slow getting across, and it hits him and goes to the back of the net. The Red Wings needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. From the left side, they gain the zone. Slides the puck over. Oh, spectacular stop there! Comfort's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. And he takes the pass. Quick feed to Comfort. And he takes the dish. Scores! And we are back to even! Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they show throughout the game. Channeling the energy they just created and doing something with it. Well, without a ton of time and space in that high slot area, he makes the right choice of selection of shots with that quick snapshot. Pulls it into the feet, disguises the angle, and beats the goalie clean. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We got a tie game. Detroit's won the draw in the neutral zone. Moves it to Larkin. Fires it on net. And that goes off the player in front. And a solid stop on the play there. 53. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Larkin's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop on the play! Husso's going to hang on for a whistle. Larkin's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Shot! Long jam in front. That's broken up. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Great reach with the poke check by Roman. And a nice save. Scores! There it is! The go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the Sally. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. Well, he gets all of this one-timer, doesn't he, James? I mean, his one leg is almost on the ground as he bears down and lets it rip.
The Predators pick up the all-important go-ahead goal late here in period number two. Well, you're always cutting periods into five-minute increments, and this is the one that they wanted to score in, James, because it creates momentum, momentum that they can carry forward to the intermission. Shot! Oh, and he had the answer on that one. The Predators looking against the half wall. Blocked in traffic. Through center along the wing. Oh, he got rocked and dumped right into his own bench. Well, he's getting a clear message to get out of here. The only good thing is it's his own teammates that can pick him up. Centering P. And he denies that great opportunity there. Up along the wing. Nashville's gained possession along the boards. And sends it just out of reach. Pop knock loose after that hit. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Late goings of this period. Nashville's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Throws it in. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Takes the feed. Sends it in deep. And he takes the feed. There's the horn. Two periods down. A third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Fans, tonight our world biggest player is dropping 50 dollars. Two down. One to go. Third period. They're ready to drop the puck. It has been an offensive fireworks display here tonight, and I would expect it to continue here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Nashville's ahead in this game, James, but for how long is the big question? I mean, the opponent just keeps storming back after a goal. This is a modern-day offensive game. No defense is being shown on this one. Play is called for offside. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Predators lead it 4-3. Detroit's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Perron's got it along the wing. Huge steal at his own end. Moves it quickly over to Nyfist. Shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? With the blast. Great glove save. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they gotta start playing. The Predators have been rewarded for their offensive efforts early in this third period. The Red Wings win it in the defensive zone. Detroit's in on the offensive attack now. Great defensive effort with the stick. Gains the zone from the right side. Evangelista's got the puck. Quick pass to Glass. Uso's got the puck, and he's going to hang on for a whistle. Well, there's only one reason that this game is tight, James. It's the guy between the crease. He elects to hold on to that one. He has been dynamite. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. The Predators win that offensive zone face-off. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Gains the zone through center. Here's a short pass to Valeno. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got of that. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines, and this goaltender whoop, does a great job of making it happen. Nashville's got the puck in the defensive end. Detroit's got a hold of the puck now. That's gloved by Saros. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. The Predators have been peppering shots on goal all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. From his own end, he picks up the puck. The Predators have it now. Goes right to the crease. Effective use of the paddle on that one. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 
The Predators have just had a little more offense than their opponents tonight. They lead it 4-3. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Takes it across the blue line. And that's broken up in the defensive zone. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. The Red Wings have worked so hard throughout the game to generate offense, and it's just been wired off the post so many times. They're making their own music out there. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. Nashville's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, James, if they can work that puck up high, when you're quarterbacking that power play, you can have eyes on either side. You can see the lanes to net, you can drive the puck, or you can pass for a one-timer off the side. Pushes it across to Forsberg. And he slides it quickly to O'Reilly. Long pass into the neutral zone. Off the left wing and into center. Coming to the slot. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. And it's a quick pass to Yossi. Oh, and he denies him with a fantastic stop there. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. They gain the zone from the left side. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Here's a shot. the offense but the energy that it provides I me mean, all you have to do is have a look at the bench and you can recognize how much he means to this room Detroit's playing to win here now they have tied it up here in the third you said it James they're not sitting back they're attacking and this is urgency that often presents itself late in the game you wonder why you didn't start that way but you can certainly finish it Nashville's coaches will not be liking that back to start. ignites a fire down the entire bench and, and sometimes it's about the drive and the energy within a shift that can just change the course of an entire game. There's so many ebbs and flows momentum shifts. This one is one of them. The Red Wings have found the go-ahead goal here in the back half of the third period. This is exactly where they want to be, James. Late in the third period, you have the lead. Now you have the momentum and you certainly want to attack, but you want to make sure that you're in good defensive posture when the puck transitions. Let's get the call. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play's going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be to task. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Detroit's got possession while undermanned. And they managed to clear it. Nice dish from the left wing. Quick feed to Parsonen. Centering feed! Oh, he comes up with a stop. That goes off a twig. And that's blocked away. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. Evangelista has been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on that. That's only oh, put it just wide as it hits the inside of the post. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. Larkin's a great player when he gets engaged, and he has been that tonight with the offensive side of this game. I've been impressed with his performance. Puck move back to the neutral zone. Grabs control of it on the point. 
Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Well, everyone has a role in this PK unit, knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. A little four-on-four four coming up here. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Detroit's got some room to do something here on this power play as their penalty expired. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Detroit's got the puck against the boards. would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. Detroit's got to feel pretty good about where they're at now here in this third period, Cheryl. I like their game, this entire game, James. Right from the puck drop, they've been aggressive on the puck, and they can't change it now. They've just got to continue to finish the way they started. Enters the offensive zone from the left. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Nashville's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. Detroit's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. The Predators gain control of the puck. Passes over to O'Reilly. Passed up ahead. Quick shot! Stones him in front. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And there's a blocker stopped by Husso. Battling for it along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Sider. Moves it to Debrinkit. And somehow he hangs on. Nice zone entry on the left side. And he takes the feed. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, a clutch save! Saros wins this one-on-one -on -one battle, and that's exactly what it is. You gotta challenge, you gotta compete, and he makes the save. Puck picked up by Lozad. Tosses it on to Sherwood. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Nashville's trailing. That's why they've gotten the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. And into the wide open cage. It's an empty net goal. And a side relief as well as it's a real insurance mark. And you put it in the empty cage and you don't ice it, that's a good thing. Now you can see the body language on them, James. The dying moments of the game and they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here as that should do it. been leading in the shot department most of the night, but they continue to trail here late in the third. Sissons wins it. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, what a pass save by Husso. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Face off looming as both centers get into position. Sissons won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them. Oh, win it perfectly. What a save. Soros doesn't have any problem stopping that back, and even better, redirecting it to the corner. strong James and this was a tale of three different stories and that third period is one that they'll want to put away behind them thanks so much for joining us we had a great time hope you did too for
for all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Good night.